dollars an hour. Princess Superstar, Bad Babysitter, first played on this show by Steve Merchant, by Bad Steve Merchant. That's true. By, by Steve Scratch Merchant. That's I right. mean, I, I still like that, but the video's put me off it a little bit, because it's just, it makes it into the novelty record it always had the potential of being, do you I know agree, what I mean? I agree, Although I, I was never a big fan of Babys Bad Babysitter was not uh, my, my favourite from the album. Sure. Um, sure. If people want my interest and my views on hip hop, then they can always email in Rick, of course. Or, or call you at home. Just give, give me a ring at home, it's no problem. <laughs> yeah. Um, or I'll just pop out and you know, hang with them in yeah. the hood. Yeah, sure, sure, yeah, so, sure. Um, yeah. Now it's time for White Van Man. White Van Man. Um, <coughs> yes, for those, that, uh, those yeah. that don't buy the sun, they think it's beneath them. Um, <laughs> White Van Man is a column they have, I think, every day, actually, and they just get sort of some, you know, Joe Public to kind of comment sure. on the week's news. just seems to me, uh, you know, that it might be interesting to, uh, to get Carl's views yeah. on some of the big not, events. Not because we, we think that Carl hasn't got a valid sort of viewpoint. No. Because Carl sees the world differently to some people, that's all, and that's, that's what's interesting. You know, like an artist does, or a... Exactly, yeah. He's a, very bohemian in his outlook. Yeah. Do you, uh, do you feel that you're up to scratch on this week's news? I don't like this, but... Don't you? Don't, just relax. Why not? It's pressure. No, 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 because you just have to give us your first opinion. For your honest answer, that's all we've ever asked of you, Carl, and it's all you've ever given us. Your honest, your first from the heart of you, yeah? All Don't right. worry, just relax. Don't just chill in. Are you worried that people are listening and thinking you're an idiot? If my girlfriend's listening now, go and have a wash or something. Go and have a wash? <laughs> Not very nice, is it? <laughs> <laughs> is it the opposite of Napoleon and Josephine? <laughs> yeah, go on. Go on. If, if you're going to visit me again, Josephine, for quite sake, wash. Well, I'll ease yeah. you in with something fairly easy, a, a music-based question. Um, Kylie Minogue versus Dido as Queen of the Brits. What's your view there? Um, <laughs> go and have a wash. It doesn't really matter, does it? Um, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. What doesn't really matter? <laughs> with the Brits. I was watching it the other night, and... Um, <laughs> I think Kylie will be a good-looking old woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh. Do you know? Do you ever do oh. that sort of I want to, Steve. I want to celebrate with you. Every time he opens his mouth, doesn't matter. I want us to open a bottle of champagne. I know what you mean. Do you know um, what I mean? It's yeah. like we did that. Yes. No. Do you, do you, do you ever do that though? Look at people and another person who springs to mind, Jenny Powell. I, hmm? I don't think she's that good-looking now. Who's Jenny Powell? Is she that girl that used to be the, si the assistant on Wheel of Fortune? Yeah, on Leslie? yeah, yeah. I think she's a bit over the top for a young woman, but when right. she gets older, I think she'll look. Be nice. a bit of a stunner. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So for you, Kylie, you know, whereas you don't feel that about Dido, is that right? She's all right. She's normal. I prefer Kylie's sister to Kylie. She okay. Looks, you know, she. I can imagine her being a hard work to live with. And Who, Kylie? Not right. being washing up and that. Right, know, sure. Being a bit right, next okay. Next <laughs> And what do you make of uh, taxes rising in the next budget to pay for NHS improvements? Well, my dad went to hospital to have an operation once. Yeah. So I feel like it's worth paying it because I've, yeah. I've got some. Because people, because people might go have to go to hospital. Yeah. Yeah. But it makes a change when it's someone in your family, doesn't it? Yeah. Because you sort of realise. Yeah, a change is as good as a rest. And the weird thing is, if it weren't for my dad. I wouldn't be here doing this show because when he was in hospital. Well, no, I'll stop you there. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, that, that's <laughs> all you need to know. You, you wouldn't be here, true. But no, but well, no, no, because this was after I was born, so I wouldn't be here. <laughs> but well, so for his more direct involvement was what? Yeah, because when when my mum was seeing my dad in yeah. the hospital, I got a bit bored. <laughs> went for a wander, found the hospital radio station. Yeah. And got a gig. Really? So in in a, in a real sense, if it wasn't for Carl's dad, Carl wouldn't be. Here. And did your dad, like, while he was listening to you, did he, like, t tap the nurse and go, can you get that twat off the air? <laughs> <laughs> Who's put him in that app? Yeah. Go on. Uh, okay, um, what do you make of the real-life Mowgli who's surviving in a Transylvanian countryside? Apparently, I don't know much about this story. I don't know. You, what, you know Mowgli, he, he's the guy from the one, Jungle Book. Yeah. The little oh. kid that grew up um, with bears and animals and stuff. Apparently there's a real-life one in Transylvania. What, what were the things in Gremlins? <laughs> what were the what? The, in Gremlins, they were. Well, wait, 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 wait. Okay, this is an example. This is what your girlfriend said. Think, what were the things in Gremlins called? I can't remember. Just, I mean, it's really. Something like that, isn't it? No, no, wait, 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 wait. Just really, really think now, Carl. Just with all, with everything you've ever, with all the brain power you've ever used, think what the things in Gremlins were called. It's not there. There's a clue here. Oh no. Yeah. They're not. What? Gremlins. Yeah. Play a record, Carl. <laughs> the streets 
let's push things forward on XFM 104.9, the home of charity. <laughs> That's true enough. Yeah. I I've got to slow down because I'm a doing a little bit too much for charity. I've got to... I've got to worry about myself sooner or later. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No, come on. We were halfway through uh, White Bear Man. We were indeed, yes. Those, those, um, those lads came in. Getting Carl's views on some of the big stories of the week yeah. from the news. Um, Carl, what do you make of the fact that the British Olympic curling team won a gold medal? I watched it. Uh huh. I thought it was really good. Um, <laughs> the only thing that's getting on my nerves now is like... What was that? Is that a trombone player <laughs> just sneaked in? <laughs> that was me moving this microphone. Right. That was incredible, wasn't it? Yeah. What an right. amazing um, noise. The only thing is... <laughs> that shouldn't sound like that, should it? That's incredible. What a shoddy tin pot station this is. Well, we know that. Sorry, Carl. Go on. It's like in all the papers now, in, in like the, you know, the Star and the Sun all week, they've been like traipsing models over a bit of granite. Do you know like how those things are made out of granite, the, um, the things they throw? Oh, yeah. And it just, that that bit annoys me. Okay. The what, way that, the Daily Star? <laughs> no, the way that, you know, this sport, nobody had ever sort of heard of it a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. Sure. We win a gold mo medal, yeah. and now in the papers it's like... They've gone crazy, they've gone curling mad. It. Yeah. It's a good game now. Yeah, good. Okay, next. All right, good. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Mm. Uh, what about the fact that the world's tallest man is living in a semi in Neasden? Uh... All right, isn't it? Um, <laughs> something that someone told me in the week is that do you know all these tall people like this guy? Yeah. Which is a bit weird. They've only just found him, considering he's the tallest man. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a bit weird. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> someone. <laughs> oh, someone genius. told me that. Um, uh, do you know the guy who was in James Bond, the big bloke? Yes. Jaws. Jaws. He's got the same illness as this bloke. Right. And what it is... It's called it's, tall. It's something about... You're suffering from tall. You've got a, a small tumour or something just behind this part of your head. Yes. Oh, yeah. Just, just sort of in, in the middle of your eyes. Yeah. And, and the pressure on that makes you grow really tall or something. Yeah. So he needs to get it sorted. <laughs> That's your advice to him. Yeah. Get it sorted. Okay, very finally, uh, Carl, this is important. This is um, just projecting <laughs> into the future. Get it sorted. Just projecting into the future now, K-Man. <laughs> Apparently, global warming will bring sizzling summers and weird wildlife to Great Britain in the future. Are you worried about that? Um, how soon? Soon enough for you to worry. Yeah, it's pretty worrying. Okay. Um, you don't. You wouldn't prefer it to be sunny here all the time? No, because with hot weather comes weird spiders and that. See, I always think we're quite lucky here. Yeah. If you live in Australia, you might have the sun and stuff, but you've got like deadly snakes. Yes. Which are deaf. Did you know snakes are deaf? Snakes are deaf? They don't have ears. Okay. Um, so you're all right walking about behind them. Yep. But if they see you ahead of you, you're, you're, you're in trouble. But yeah, with, with places like Australia, you know, people go, oh, it's great, it's sunny, but they don't talk about the spiders and... They keep the spiders... Lizards yeah. and stuff. Quite. So I think we've got a bit of the, both the best world. So you're worried, though, about in the future, the vultures flying through the sky, we've got various creepy crawlies, snakes. You concerned yeah. about that? Yeah, well, there's a load. I saw something in the news in the week that a load of sparrows or something was somewhere. Maybe that's the start of it. <laughs> that's an interesting story. <laughs> no. Was that front page or? <laughs> <laughs> there's a load of sparrows somewhere. No, <laughs> <about> <laughs> Read all about it. Sparrows somewhere. Some sparrows somewhere. Sparrows somewhere. Load of sparrows somewhere. No. Sparrows somewhere. <laughs> there you go, anyway. Excellent. That's Thank great. You very that's, much, uh, that's, uh, that's Carl um, giving his views on the news. Don't do that next week. <laughs> Why not? I just, I just don't like it. Why? Pressure. It's not pressure, you did brilliantly. Yeah.